welcome back to another video guys in this video i am going to go through this fault code as you can see on the firm screen uh b1177 i think it is obviously it's moved off the screen so i can't see it but um it says abnormal battery um this can cause fault codes um it can cause a cluster warning as well like this here on the screen um, so the triangle and the, is it VSA? I can't remember, but uh, let's just have a look. So you'll get that, yeah, VSA. Uh, you'll get that sort of triangle and the VSA. Um, what what can cause this, really? The main thing I'd go to, because you've got to understand Japanese cars. It's good car, good engines, but um, they tend to put very small batteries in the cars, whether it's Toyota GT86, uh, this is an S2000, whether it's a Honda Acc Accord, uh, it's just, the batteries are very small, don't ask me why, I don't know, it's just a weak stuff, but if you've not started the vehicle for a few days, that will come up, it will also come up on the diagnostic, and your battery will be weak as well, okay, so it'll need a good run. If this is eliminated and your battery is fine, it's brand new whatsoever, you know, it's good, the other thing I would go for is the alternator, which the alternator is here on this uh, Honda Accord, um, S2000. Um, it'll be the same, it's the 2 litre uh, for most of the Hondas anyway. I check the wire in there, uh, check the fuse box, check to see if there is power. Um, obviously, if it is a recharger, so the way I, I, I looked at this earlier was, I could see it was on 12.4 voltage, right? The engine cranked over fine, no problem, but it was showing 12.4 voltage on the diagnostic machine as a live data. I thought maybe, okay, I'll leave it, I'll give it a good run, which I did. When I say a good run, um, good, like, I was a so drive. Um, and guess what? Everything went back to normal, everything's fine. That's what happened, you reach because the battery was so dead and drained, it wouldn't accept any more voltage than 12.4, or whatever you want to say. But after driving it for a good few hours, I guess, it charged up fully, now you turn it on, it says it's showing minimum 14.5 uh, voltage, which is good news, okay? So in your case, obviously, um, give it a good shot, put a new battery and see if that helps. If not, track and trace the alternator um, and see if there's, if there's power in the alternator. If not, obviously trace, trace the wire and the fuse box. Another problem as well um, with these Japanese car are rust obviously the normal for rust if you know what i mean and it could be that the one of the wires have gone worn out whatsoever maybe touching the body so just like i said just track and trace and the warning on the dashboard will automatically go away now the way it would go away obviously let's say you fixed it and it's still there don't worry about it go for a drive uh, full lock the steering lock to left and right um this usually eliminates the fault codes and then pairs up the steering angle sensor as well um but that's what that fault code means